All right, we're going to continue with the skin and, and so on. Really, it's a precision activity that you should take time. And I will kind of go more to show you the functionality. Okay, so here, skin is probably the most important out of these three tabs, unless you have freckles. I, I don't, so I will just skip that. And accents, we'll have a quick look at that. But texture here is kind of the age. Well, see, this model is very young. We look, and well, I'm a little bit older, so you see, now I'm trying to make it look like myself. So maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm going to go with that one. Okay. And it's not necessarily just age as you move it. Let's see, let's see the face is modeled a little bit differently. And then the contrast, I don't know why the lips are blue, but we're going to change that later. So, um, doesn't really do much. Roughness is kind of the oiliness of the skin. So really oily and not oily at all so i'm going to just go in the middle really for most people that's usually what it is i'm going to go back to the texture i don't like these really old blue lips like just doesn't look good um i don't know i gotta have some i'm gonna go with that one just for now uh accents i'm just gonna redness is the cheeks right here as you can see and saturate and you can click on parts of the that you want so let's say you kind of have a, a red forehead or some color on your forehead see a little redder now if i just went like that maybe it's on my chin maybe it's on my cheeks maybe it's under my eyes so let's do that as well let's see how it goes yeah see that doesn't look so good but you're trying to use your use your mood board and I'm going to add a little more color, a little more fullness there. Because even though you have a model, you can also say, yeah, you know what? I don't like the way that looks. I'm going to adapt it. And now I'm going to move down to the eyes. And maybe you want to rotate and have a look. And again, use your mood board if you like. You know, I have mine here. I'm not saying it's perfect. Like I mentioned, I'm not taking the same amount of time you will have. Um, so eyes. So I have green eyes. And one thing I really liked about doing this is you zoom in and click the green eyes and then go look at your model. And probably you didn't take a photo of your eye. So there's a little bit more brown on mine. So let's, uh, oops, let's just do that. And even on in here, you could go and, well, experiment. Let's go with a little more brown. Let's see what happens. Uh, there's different type of... Uh, looks you can do here you can play around have a lot of fun with these maybe you want to use a different kind of if you really get close now, I don't think you'll have gotten that close of a photo so you can just kind of experiment here and the Celera I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly is kind of this redness here okay so maybe you want to have a lot so it looks like you didn't sleep last night or you know pretty clear-eyed so those kind of things are a lot of fun to play around with and uh, I'm happy with that. So we're going to move on to the teeth. Again, you may not know this. Maybe you want to talk to your parents, get some information, talk to your dentist. Uh, well, do you have uh, an overbite or an under underbite? Okay, so sometimes and you can even open the jaw and get a sense of that. Uh, plaque. Well, plaque is when you don't go to the dentist. See the yellowness? Well, probably you don't want your model to look like that. You know, let's just make it look like we just went to the dentist. And uh, so we have all kinds of really powerful uh, upper shift here. We can even just move it around like this. Um, let's just try. The teeth are a little bit more apart here. Maybe your teeth are like that. You know, different people have different types of teeth. So these are a little bit in. And sometimes your teeth are offset. There's really a lot of interesting uh, things that you can play around here with. That's doing the bottom ones, depending on what you pick. So I just encourage you to uh, click around and have a little bit of fun. When you're done with that, just click. And, you know, you can look because depending on what you did with your teeth, you might... Oops. Let me just scroll out here. It's not letting me... And again, go check your, your, you can always go check your board. And I think this looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. So now I'm going to go to makeup. Well, I'm going to state the obvious. The goal is to make you look like you'd normally look on a regular basis. So if you don't wear makeup, 
don't put makeup okay it's just that simple so I just clicked on here and uh, you know you have one thing I do like is you can kind of zoom into the lips remember I was saying the lips I don't like the color of mine so maybe I can kind of play around with this here if I click on this obviously that's not something that I would do so maybe I get a little bit more red so my lips are a little bit redder so it's not about the lipstick it's about getting the color that I want uh, you know and is that better a little too much so so you know use your judgment remember I was saying I had the blue lips a while ago so that's one way you can fix that all right and now one thing that I would say is before you move on to the next stage really go through these again and maybe Take a minute to fix your model. There's a few things I know I would fix uh, still, but uh, maybe some saturation under the eyes here using some of these uh, tools over here. But uh, yeah, basically iterate. Take your time, go back, tweak, and so on. So if you have any other questions, please let me know. Thanks.